Hi, I'm Rachel Shelton. I'm a faculty member at Columbia's Mailman School of Public Health, and I'm going to be talking about sustainability um, as a new emerging area within the field of implementation science. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how we can conceptualize, um, define, and kind of operationally measure sustainability. Okay, so first, where does sustainability of evidence-based interventions even fit in within the larger context and field of implementation science? So often it's a little bit tucked away at the end, as you can see here in the stages of research and phases of dissemination and implementation uh, from the textbook um, with Ross Brownson, Graham Kolditz, and Enola Proctor. When we think about the translational pipeline, we've traditionally thought about implementation research, again, kind of towards the end of this continuum. So after we already identify our evidence-based programs and practices and policies, um, you know, implementation science, again, is focused on how do we make these work in real-world settings. But again, a lot of the focus has been on, uh, within the field of implementation science, has been on this early adoption and the implementation phase in the six months, for six months or so. And we know much less about the sustainability of evidence-based interventions. As you can see here, it's kind of at the very end, often, of this process that we think about it or study it. So it's really gotten overlooked and understudied um, in the context of public health interventions in general, but in, in implementation science as well. One area where you might think about it is in the REAIM framework developed by Russ Glasgow. Um, and here, uh, we often think about it in terms of the, the term maintenance has sometimes been used. And again, here, it's the question is, you know, how do I uh, incorporate the intervention so it's delivered over the long term. So at least the REAIM framework gets us thinking about as we're planning uh, for an evidence-based intervention, its dissemination and implementation, it might at least initially get you thinking about maintenance from the start. Or if you're using REAIM as an evaluation framework, um, it may uh, cause you to think about the possibility of including that as an outcome. But again, in general, um, sustainability has been understudied and kind of um, tucked in as kind of a fa one small phase or component of implementation. And in Enola Proctor's um, framework, which is really useful for thinking about um, the various elements and aspects of implementation strategies and their outcomes, where we sometimes, again, hear about sustainability is as an implementation outcome. Again, sometimes it's one of many. And as we'll talk about, it's often not prioritized as one, sometimes due to some of the methodological challenges and ability to study this, even in the context of implementation science. Okay, so why do we even care about sustainability? Why is it important to understand? So across the literature, um, there's a continuing theme that has been emerging over the past 20 years of sustainability being a, a serious challenge um, to public health programs, to practices, um, and policies. And we often see that there is a decline in terms of the delivery of interventions over time um, and the benefits, the decline in terms of people being able to maintain the benefits, the health benefits and health outcomes that are delivered through interventions. So again, across population setting and health issues, sustainability is a common and major challenge. And again, um, when we think about the evidence base and NIH funding and funding through CDC and other national agencies, we have found that there's tremendous research investments in developing evidence-based interventions. There's a huge portfolio of existing evidence-based resources and databases at this point. But the question is, you know, from that, have we necessarily seen the return on investment in terms of improved health outcomes and health benefits? And, you know, you really start to hear from funders, from the public, from researchers, from community members, um, questions about accountability of researchers. You know, we've invested all this money, this funding. What is the long-term impact of this investment? And again, if we don't study sustainability or understand it, we don't have answers to those questions. Um, and we also have very little understanding of what factors even matter for sustainability. Um, how can we, if we don't understand this, how can we begin to proactively promote and proactively plan for sustainability? So again, these are some of the important reasons why a focus on sustainability in particular is critical. 
And again, within um, DNI itself, again, as, as we've talked about, often the, the impact of the interventions and their value are discontinued, which again can result in issues of you know erosion of um, trust from community members um, and researchers and organizations. But again, within implementation science, we've seen a huge growth in this field and recognition of the importance of reducing the gap between research and practice, what we know works and what's actually done across diverse real world settings. But as we've seen this literature grow, again, most of it is focused on the initial adoption and implementation. So again, those first six months, maybe that first year, um, and the strategies that need to be in place for that. But again, we have very limited understanding in terms of what is needed for sustainability, what matters for sustainability. So it's just been a tremendous gap in knowledge and an important one. Um, in Enola Proctor's work in 2015 with colleagues, she identified um, sustainability as one of the most significant translational research issues that we face in the field. And one real challenge has been in terms of even understanding what is the extent to which evidence-based programs and practices and policies are even sustained. And that's been very difficult to kind of generalize across studies because people have used widely different definitions and operational conceptualizations and measurements. Um, and it's challenging to look over time um, due to logistical issues and funding. So the rates of sustainability have been variable and variably reported. Um, Marianne Shire was a real pioneer in this area, and she's done some amazing work over the past 20 years um, specific to sustainability. And she did um, she had a portfolio at, portfolio at Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, and she examined 19 health promotion pr um, programs. And she followed up a year, one year to six years later and found that 40 to 60 percent of the programs sustained at least one component. Um, the others sustained none, and many of these programs were multi-component. So most of them that were, be were being continued were only being partially sustained. So again, this just speaks to the fact that in order for us to really maximize the impact of evidence-based interventions, um, it will require that we start to invest and focus on sustainability research within the field of implementation science. And again, our uh, research team has really tried to make the case um, in a number of papers that um, sustainab sustainability should really be its own domain of focus. In a lot of um, prior work, we've seen, again, sustainability often as one potential phase across multiple implementation phases, or we've seen it, again, as an implementation outcome kind of tucked in there. But again, because of this, we haven't necessarily focused specifically on whether different factors matter for implementation versus sustainability, whether certain uh, implementation strategies support implementation as well as sustainability or if we need a different set of strategies. So again, we have really tried to make the case that focusing on sustainability itself is really critical, Pat uh, particularly since um, sustainability requires such a longitudinal lens, and it also includes the possibility of changing context, changing evidence. So the recursive and dynamic nature of sustainability um, has not been well captured in prior research. And this here is our um, conceptual model, just laying out sustainability as one important domain of many within the field of implementation science. <laughs>